Hello everyone, welcome to ASNA Academy's YouTube channel. My name is Arjun Chabra, I'm a faculty at ASNA Academy. So in this video, we'll be talking about the new notification which has been released by Bharat Electronics Limited for the position of trainee engineer and project engineer for BE BTEC students. And also one more thing, one more detailed advertisement we'll be discussing about it uh, for diploma students as well, which has been released by Bharat Electronics Limited. So for the position, uh, of trainee engineer and project engineer, they are recruiting on a contract basis, on a temporary basis they are recruiting for Ghaziabad unit. Ghaziabad unit is in Delhi NCR. Now for the trainee engineer, electronics uh, students are eligible and posting location will be what? Leh. Uh, Leh, it is in again Jammu and Kashmir, Ladakh. Um, after that, uh, Kochi, Assam, West Bengal and how many seats are there? So 16. Uh, 18, 20, 23 seats in total for which unreserved category is 10, OBC is 6, EWS is 2, SC is 2 and ST category is 3. And for trainee engineer position, there is no experience uh, required and the age limit is 28 years. Um, the age limit 28 year as on 1st of September 2024. Now for project engineer positions, you can see electronics, computer science, electrical uh, and mechanical students are eligible. Now you can see the locations as well. Uh, Gujarat, Bangalore, Shillong, Port Blair, Ambala, Jammu and Kashmir and Delhi NCR. And for computer science it is Shillong, Mumbai, Bangalore. Electrical it is Gujarat, Jodhpur, Bangalore, Shillong, West Bengal. And for mechanical it is West Bengal, Bangalore and Delhi NCR. And you can see the breakup of the seats as well for project engineer. From here it is starting. Now, what is the education qualification? Again, uh, B, B Tech engineering is required four years. Uh, and uh, for project engineer position, keep this in mind: two years of relevance, uh, you know, relevant post qualification, two years of experience is required, and the age limit is 32 years. Again, on 1st of September, this is the age limit. Now, again, there is four percent of the above mentioned posts are reserved for. PWBD as per government guidelines. Now let's talk about the remuneration and the allowances. Now mostly for these two positions, the trainee engineer and project engineer, they are recruited for three years. Trainee engineer position, you can see the remuneration, consolidated remuneration is 30,000, 35,000 and 40,000 rupees consecutively for the three years. Now they have also said if there will be requirement for one more year, they can extend your period. And these are the additional benefits. There is some area allowance, which is 10% uh, of the consolidated remuneration per month and also 12,000 uh, 12, rupees per year towards the insurance premium, attire allowance, stitching charges and footwear allowance. 12,000 rupees is separately given to you, right? And you can see the remuneration for project engineers, first, second, third, fourth year, uh, 40,000, 45,000, 50,000 and 55,000. And similarly, same additional benefits and allowances are given to project engineers as well. And it can be extended for one year if it is required. Right. And retention bonus for project engineer is separately given. Who will complete overall tenure of four years uh, are also entitled for retention bonus of rupees 25,000 rupees for every completed year. However, the retention bonus will be payable at the end of four years. That will be for 25,000 for each year, that means 1 lakh rupees. So separately will be given to you in terms of retention bonus. Now upper age limit as told 28 years and it will be relaxable for the categories as you can see. Generally always for OBC category, it will be 3 years and SCST category, it will be 10 years. And persons with disability additional um, relaxation is given as per government norms, right? And uh, you can see the person who is applying for a position of electronics, right? These are the disciplined students can apply for the position of electronics. So electronics, electronics and communication, electronics and telecommunication, electronics and instrumentation, applied electronics and instrumentation, instrumentation and control engineering and telecommunication. So why it is separately mentioned over here? Because the students in various colleges, uh, you know, the, who are pursuing uh, BTEC under a different name, get confused ki are we eligible for uh, these positions or not. You can see for mechanical engineering, only mechanical engineering students are applicable, not mechanical and automation or mechanical and applied sciences like that. 
these are sub streams which are considered in various colleges you are not eligible for these over here so separately it has been mentioned that um, for a mechanical um, uh, you know post only mechanical engineering students are applicable after that computer science computer science students are applicable computer science and engineering computer science engineering and information technology so this is to be followed under these names if your discipline is there then you can apply for computer science position after that for electrical engineering electrical and electrical engineering and triple e students that is electrical and electronic students can apply right so here in the note they have underlined and separately mentioned over here candidates whose discipline or specialization mentioned in their relevant degree certificates do not tally with the discipline prescribed in the advertisement will not be considered for selections so they have separately mentioned it in the notification itself i have been telling this to all the students wherever i go and i will always tell the students that please look out for the name of the degree for which you are considering your be and btech right so mostly in psus it's a very critical thing uh, in regard of the name of the degree what name is being given to your degree right after this post qualification experience uh, you can see if you are applying for project engineer position they have separately mentioned that what are the job responsibilities for both and how much and what kind of experience will be relevant so you need to have a certificate also for that right and selection procedure will be in regard of an examination written test examination will be there 100 marks examination will be there for each question there will be 1/4 of negative uh, marking and uh, qualifying percentage relaxation is also there for categories and you can see selection procedure for project engineer now written test how much there will be an interview for project engineer position once you qualify the examination so weightage it is 35% for general ews and obc and ncl categories non cumulative layer so after that sc st and pwbd category 30% weightage is given and for interview it is 35 and 30% right the assessment weightage will be 85 and 15% 15% for it test and interview respectively so total they will be giving weightages 85% to the written test and after that for interview 15% now how to apply you can see this is the website bell.alobhatech.com over here you can apply and the application date last application date is 9th of november 2024 and application fees also you can see 150 rupees plus 18% gst for trainee engineer and 400 rupees plus 18% gst for project engineer position and candidates belonging to sc st and pwbd category are exempted from the payment of application fee right and after that let's discuss about the detailed advertisement for diploma apprenticeship position selections right for 2024 and 2025 this is again for ghaziabad here uh, there are 90 diploma apprenticeship uh, positions which are available for mechanical engineering it is 30 for computer science engineering you can see they have now separately mentioned the name of the uh, stream as well computer science engineering computer science and technology computer technology and computer engineering so 20 positions for that and uh, after that electronics students electronics and communication engineering electronics and telecommunication electronics and telecommunication engineering these names are applicable 30 positions again for civil engineering it is 10 total you can see 90 positions are there and how much monthly stipend is given 12500 rupees stipend and what will be the duration of training it will be 1 year now this is specifically important for the students who are just graduating uh, you know from their diploma and they are looking out for jobs and specifically apprenticeship jobs so it is one of the best positions to apply for now what is the eligibility criteria you should be an indian national after that the candidate should have possessed their diploma in the above mentioned branches uh, from the colleges which are approved by aict or uh, government of india on or after 1st of october 2021 
they are applicable for it and after this maximum age should not be more than 25 years it cannot be more than 25 years and it is relaxable for 5 years for SCST and 3 years for OBC as I have already told you previously right and uh, at what site you can apply uh, candidates can apply for the above vacancies at nats.education.gov.in there is separate website for this so you can apply over here before 4th of November 2024. So um, you can apply and also you can download these notifications from the official website of um, Bell. It is available over the official website of Bharat Electronics Limited. I hope I was able to give you a valuable information regarding the upcoming positions in Bharat Electronics Limited. Thank you very much.